Okay, the first game is Team Indie. Wow. This is really something. Good game to start on. Sets expectations very low. The next game is Terraria. Alright, welcome to my Terraria quick start guide. The first thing you want to do is dig straight down. You're breaking the first rule of Minecraft? Good thing we're not playing Minecraft then, isn't it? Oh, hang on. What's this? What's this? We got some kind of purple cave. Welp, I guess this cave is my new home. It's like the Sarlacc pit when Weequay and Boba Fett fall in the Sarlacc pit. Me and this weird alien thing are going to live here for a thousand years. The next game is Tarian Saga KR17. The first thing you see when you boot up the game is the developer's faces, so that's a very bad sign. Yay. Ah, oh no. Go away. What button is attack? What key is attack? Um, um. What button is attack? I'm hitting every key. Come on. There we go. Ah, crap. The next game is Terror Hedron. It sounds like a printer breaking. That's not good music. Oh, is it a tower defense? I think it's a tower defense. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tower defense. Okay. I thought it was going to be like Marble Blast, but no. That'd actually be fun. We've had some winners tonight so far. Hopefully Tesla Effect can redeem the day. Thank you to the over 7,000 members of the Mutant League whose commitment, support, and contribution of oh, $600,000. Holy crap. This is a pretty good cutscene for a $600,000 game. Actually, no, I have no idea. I don't know how hard cutscenes are to make. They spent all their money on this intro. Uh-oh. The game can't be good. The game can't be good after this intro. This intro had to cost most of their budget. Five hours later. That's how I felt when watching the intro cutscene. So all around me, there's a giant metropolis city, right? But then randomly in this small square... There's like a crappy downtown urban area. But but everything else is skyscrapers. But just this part right here looks like it was built in like the 1940s. Tex Murphy, you're going in the doghouse. The next game is Thief, the new one, not the old ones. Please enter your email address to link your profile to a Square Enix account. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, it's like Tex Murphy. Oh, no. He's doing a monologue over wide shots of the city. Oh, hang on. Never mind. First person. Whew, that was close. All right. Can I jump off the tutorial beam and land on somebody? You can't. There's an invisible wall. Oh, that's so lame. That's lame. Oh, we gotta tap E a bunch of times to do... Mm. Not a strong start, thief. Oh, you gotta use Arkham Vision to see where you can shoot the rope arrow. What? You can't shoot it anywhere? Ah, uh, what? Come on. That sucks. I can only shoot it right there. That's... Uh, this, okay. I can see why people didn't like this game. For thieves, these guys are very chatty. He, he, <laughs> he's picking a lock and he's, like, talking to himself. Okay, thief has unexpectedly given me a metaphor for things wrong with modern games. Here's a small beam, right? So, game design should say, you need you need a little bit of skill to walk across this and not fall off. Like, it's not hard, but the possibility fall off is there, so you gotta try. But nope, there's an invisible wall on either side, so you literally can't fall off no matter what you do. So, they don't even trust you to walk across this beam. I mean, come on, you, you, you gotta give the player some agency. Alright, let's spam E. Come on, come on. Open the window. Oh, no, I spammed E too hard and closed the game. Okay, the next game is Thief Gold. This is Thief, but it's like the really, really old one. So we'll see if this one's better. Oh, yeah, this game is not functioning properly. Uh-oh, not good. Can you beat Thief without rendering any of the graphics in the game? This is like that one deaf guy that beat Ocarina of Time by sound. I'm going to do that. I'm going to beat Thief by sound. Let's see. I'm running into a wall. I'm running into a wall. And over here, I'm running into a wall. I'm just running into walls. The next game is Thief 2, The Metal Age. Will the game work this time? Place your bets. Place your bets. Hey, we're in the game. Nice. Well, you can incrementally open doors? Really? That's a cool feature. Something there. Oh, crap. Someone hurt me. Someone hurt me just from jumping. Oh, my God. This game's hardcore. All right, now I got a sword. The plan is to just kill everybody. Die. Die. Okay, he's dead. Oh, God. They're after me. It's like Dark Souls. It's the catacombs all over again. Oh, what? Oh, I failed. Oh, don't kill anyone was the objective. Oh, well. In the little tutorial mission, I played it for like one minute, and I already felt more tension. Like, oh, crap, I got caught. Like, I was actually like, ah, oh, no. As opposed to the new thief, where I wanted to quit it as fast as possible. So, I think the old thieves are better. All right, we have Thief Deadly Shadows up next. It's another thief game. I think the graphics are a little better. Oh, no, it's doing the same thing as the new thief. Oh, no. It literally has footprints. Alrighty, guard. Time to die. Didn't even hurt. <laughs> Are you sure it didn't hurt? You look pretty dead to me. Please try again. Oh, I have to stealth by. I'm dumb. Come on. Hey, I was solving the problem my own way. If that way involves killing all the guards, so be it. In the one we just played, it just freaking drops you into the first level to, like, figure it out. I much prefer that approach. Because, like, you can figure it out if you're not stupid. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need footprint dotted line 
telling me to go to the only door I can possibly open. So I hope you all enjoyed my hour-long video essay retrospective of the Thief series. Alright, the next game is 30 Flights of Loving. Hello there, Minecraft Steve. How are you? Always aged. This is Minecraft Steve's future. He's just gonna sit in the bar and be like, I was the most popular gamer in the world one time. It's like, yes, yes, Mr. Steve. We know. We all know. Hello, oranges. Can I have some oranges? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, I can peel them. Whoa, this game's immersive. Whoa, look at those dancers. Check out their dance move. Whoa, you won't see that in Fortnite. Oh, what? This guy gets guns. The guy in the wheelchair gets guns, but I don't. Okay, I don't like this game. The end. 30 plus low. Is that really the end of the game? Really? Created by Brendan Chung. Okay, but what was it? What did you create, Brendan Chung? I don't get it. The next game is Time Clickers. Buy to unlock a short-term damage boost. Okay. Is it? Is this a clicker game? Oh my god. Is this Cookie Clicker? Why does? Why would you make this? Why would you buy this? Why would you play this? Dude, these games tonight are making me have an existential crisis. Like, what's even the point of most of these games? What's the point of my life if I'm playing them? The next game is Time Frame. Oh no, it's another low poly bad graphics experience game. We just played one of those. Oh god. Alrighty guys, let's go on an adventure across the desert and learn a little about ourselves along the way. If you're gonna make a game like this, at least let me like sprint. Like this is too slow. I wanna go at least double the speed. While the revivalists toil with their spire, I place my remaining confidence in the young apprentice, Conserva Lothcomsera. If anyone can uncover the mysteries of stream bending, it may be her. From the Journal of Chronotorium, Affirmationist Verifon, Doth Verdion, Cycle 1989. Oh my god. What do you think, guys? Should we keep playing and find all the lore and uncover the mystery? Okay, the next game is To the Moon. Okay, I know everybody loves To the Moon. Oh, such a sad, touching story, but guess what? There's no option to turn the music down, and it's way too loud. Where's the options menu? To the moon? More like, to the next game. The next game is Tomb Raider, the new one. Jump for it. What? That half of the ship is sinking, too. <laughs> the ship got cut in half. I don't think being on this half is going to be any better, honestly. And he just fell again. Okay, yeah. That, was, that jump was not worth it. Things just went from bad to worse. How's Lara going to get out of this one? Tune in next week to find out on the next Angry Joe show. Oh, is she going to land on that? Oh my god. <laughs> the, this game is so gruesome. Is she going to stand still and wait at office? Is her health going to regenerate in like two seconds? Oh, I love video games. Welcome to Majula. Bearer of the curse. Seek larger, more powerful souls. Can I kill a bird? Eat the crow. Just eat the crow, Lara. Come on, eat it. See? Oh, she did. Oh my god. <laughs> she did eat it. Yikes. When the new Tomb Raider came out, everyone said, I want to see Lara Croft take a needle and cut open a deer's stomach and rip out his freaking intestines and eat them raw. That's what Tomb Raider is missing. All right, now it's time for the Total War gauntlet, starting off with Total War Attila. All right, this is what you do in Total War to make it fun. You just get a million artilleries and see if your artillery can kill all the guys before they get to you. Would you march toward that? I would not. I'd be intimidated after. I would, I would turn around and go home. Like, like that, if, if I was that guy, I would get up, turn around, and go home. But he's dead, so he can't. I've accidentally created a Saving Private Ryan scene. I'm realizing that now. I was criticizing that in the World War II games, but that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, trebuchet, guys, I'm sorry. You should have shot better. Now you are going to get killed. The next game is Empire Total War. We'll do some U.S. versus Russia war games to help train us for World War III. And uh, USA, of course, will be loaded. USA is going to have like a million great things and Russia is going to suck. That's the goal. Now I want to play this game again. This game is great. I like Empire Total War. This, the, this music in this loading screen, whenever I see it, makes me want to play this game. What happened to his mic? What do you mean? Your mic is trash? What? How's it trash? Sounds like you're a nine-year-old YouTuber. It should sound fine. Sounds like the mic is in your throat. <laughs> It's picking up my small breaths. What the frick? How did that happen to my microphone? Your mic sounds like an Android phone mic. Yeah, I know. I just listened to it. Oh, God. We're going to go into Audacity and record with the microphone while I'm streaming, and we'll see if the Audacity mic sounds fine. Because if, if this doesn't sound fine, it's the microphone. If it does sound fine, then it's a problem with Empire Total War for some reason. This is the world's most exciting stream where we try Okay, that sounds fine, yeah. Because for it some sounds reason, fine. Empire... Wait, like, like, this is good now? Not, not just the Audacity recording. Like, this, what I'm actually talking right now is good? It's fine now? It's fine. <laughs> okay. So, Empire Total War broke the microphone settings, 
and then somehow bringing Audacity up and recording a test track fixed it. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know what that was. That took up like 30 minutes of this freaking stream. Oh my god. Okay, the next game is Total War Medieval 2. Hopefully it does not break my microphone. Blast them. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go bowling for peasants. Okay, in that like five second span, they lost 890 men. All right, the next game is Total War Napoleon, but it's the same engine as Empire, which botched my mic. I guess I'll play it. Crap, crappy mic is back. No, it broke it again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What is wrong with the Empire Total War series? They're, okay, they're not even lip smacks. You're saying you're hearing lips. You're not hearing lip smacks. You're hearing like minor tongue movement. Like if you were standing right up next to me, you couldn't even hear that. It's just like my tongue resting naturally in my mouth. But since it's freaking boosting everything times 10 million, it sounds like I'm going <laughs> between every word. Abracadabra, fix my audio, please. Bada bing, bada boom. Fix a Rooney. It's good now. It's good now. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, pro tip for all you streamers out there, if Empire of Total War breaks your audio drivers, just record something in Audacity, and that fixes it for some reason. Okay, the next game is Total War Rome 2. Oh my god, look at all those rocks. <laughs> what a barrage. They showed an awesome battle at E3, dude. They showed, like, a freaking Carthaginian D-Day battle. Looked amazing, and then this game came out, and it sucked. For, like, five years, it sucked. And right now, it's pretty good with, like, 60 mods. It's like, it's like Skyrim. It's pretty good with a lot of mods. But when it came out, it was a big yikes. Look at the beauty of the scene right here. So cinematic. So epic. Total War, when it's not breaking your microphone. Total War is a great series. The next game is Shogun 2, and if you thought uh, Rome Total War looked nice, wait do you see this one. The art style in this game is held up extremely well over time. Like, this game's pretty old, but it still looks great. Blow them up, yeah. This game also has way better explosions than Rome, because, you know, they have gunpowder now. Now it's time for Total War Warhammer. Alrighty, to make up for Empire Total War's lack of working, we're gonna have a giant gun battle. Oh my god. <laughs> this game's so chaotic, dude. So many explosions, so much death. It's a great game. Incredible that, like, a home computer can run this kind of graphics nowadays. Like, that's like Lord of the Rings movie tier, almost. And the last game for today, even though we were supposed to play plenty more games, but we couldn't due to technical difficulties, is Total War Warhammer 2, the best Total War game they've ever made so far. The dwarves are very heavily armored, but they're no match for freaking green laser beams. It's like a Death Star shooting them. They got lasers? This is supposed to be fantasy? Yeah, it's fantasy, but also they have laser beams, so it's like the greatest fantasy universe ever. Corrosion! Yeah, they lagged my frame rate. That's how good it was. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all those Total War games. In the next stream, we'll play some crappy indie games. Don't worry, don't worry. These production values will not be here for long.